Hi everyone, welcome back to our Christmas in July collaboration. I'm going to be linking all the wonderful ladies down below who are also participating in this Christmas in July collab. So for this week, we were to make some tags. So I'm really excited to share with you guys what I created. Of course, you guys know I had to make a shaker. You all know how much I love my shakers. So we have some trees and some reindeer back here. And then I just got this little bird sticker. If you guys remember, I bought those packs of stickers from Tuesday morning on clearance. So this came out of one of the sticker sheets. So this is just a little birdie. And then I put baby, it's cold outside. And then I thought it was so cute that the little moosey right here had a little hat. So I thought that went well together. So that's the first one I put together. And then here is the next one again another little shaker right here and this one has gingerbread pieces candy cane and santa back there and then over here it says that um children are like snowflakes no two are alike so then i put the little boy right here oh i should have put some little pink diamond dots for his cheeks huh that would have been cute and then i just did a little snowflake down here and then you know i did puff it up so the boy and this part is all on puffy tape and so are the little mittens up here. So those are the two shakers that I did. And then I did this little tag right here. Again was another one of those stickers from that pack. And then I used diamond dots to make ornaments. And then I had this little flat back star right here that I used for the top of the tree. And let's see, then I did some smaller pieces. So I put this one together um, from Dollar Tree. There was those Happy Planner sticker books that we all were hauling, you know, for a dollar. And I was lucky enough to get one. So this is from that sticker pack. And then I just put diamond dots again right here on the holly and in this flower right there. And then I used Tim Holtz alcohol ink around the edges and this tag is actually from dollar tree so there's that one and then this one is funny it's literally scrap paper so i was able to punch out this snowman out of some scrap paper and then this was again scrap paper and so was this green so then again i just put ink all over the tag from dollar tree and then glued these on and then put some diamond dots right here and again i've puffed everything up with foam tape so there's that one. Oh, and then I put this twine through right here. So the white one comes on the tag. And then I just um, added the blue. And then on this one, I did the green. And let's see. I did another tag right here where I just put blue Tim Holtz ink all over it. And then again, this was from that sticker pack. And then it said, ho, ho, ho. And then I just used red diamond dots, little red jammy rhinestones for the O. And then again, I just put the blue little twine over here. And then I had also um, put this together, but I couldn't figure out where I was going to use it. Like, I just didn't look good on anything. Like, I thought about putting it here or, you know, putting it on its own little tag like this or over here or like down over here. And I just couldn't figure out what I want to do with this. So I ended up with the little extra piece that just says Be Merry. And then it had little strings of lights. And then my mom was so nice. She made me a little wreath. And again, I was trying to figure out like where did I want to put it. So I even ended up with this extra um, little tag piece right here. And I had put it up here. And then I'm like, okay, what am I going to add down here? And I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with it. I absolutely love it. I think the threading she used that, you know, that like ombre green was beautiful. And then she glued some little, you know, berry leaves to it but again I couldn't figure out where I wanted it to go so I have this as an extra piece now and this tag and then this little piece and then here is my last little tag right here so I had made a bunch of these snowflakes last week so this was one of my extras again I inked up the little tag added some little blue twine right here and that's how I got this one. 
So I thought I'd do one really quickly with you guys on camera to show you how easy these little ones were to make. And actually, I had more fun making these small ones than I did, like, the bigger pieces, which I think is so funny. Because, like I said, this was just, like, scrap pieces. This is something that I had made last week that was kind of, like, an extra piece. And then, you know, these are just some stickers with some, you know, little rhinestones and blings and diamond dots. So I think it's so funny that I had more fun making the small ones than, like, the bigger ones, which... I really thought I was going to like be so in love with the shaker ones, but it's funny, these little ones just really did it for me. So here is the plain little tag that comes from Dollar Tree. I think you get like 30 of them. I don't know for a dollar. I don't know, maybe 20. I have no idea. So you get a whole pack of these. So all is what I did was I got my Tim Holtz ink, a little makeup sponge. This was gifted to me recently from Christina, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was the one that sent it to me. And you just go ahead and dip this in some ink. That's all I really needed was this is going to be like more than enough. You can see right there. And then just go ahead and go all along the edge. You can see I still have some ink on my finger from earlier. So just go ahead and go all along the little edge right there. And then just kind of like, you know, smoosh it in. You can kind of like pat it everywhere, depending on like what kind of a look you want to go for. Doesn't really matter. You just do whatever you feel like looks best. So put that like that. And I'm going to push this off to the side right here. And then, oh, I forgot my glue. Let me see. I got some glue right here. And then you're just going to go ahead and take some glue. Let me cut the tip off right here. And just put a little glue. Go ahead and glue this on down. And there you go. I mean, it's literally that easy. But I think it looks so cute. See how cute that is? So this one, you can see, like, this is the first one that I inked. And then I didn't even re-ink the sponge. And then this was the second one. And then this was the third. That's why this one looks lighter. So you can see how dark this one is compared to that one. But I really love it. And then I had got this stuff, this twine color stuff from Hobby Lobby on clearance. And I just didn't like the big spool it was on. So, like, look at what a difference it makes putting it on this little bobbin. I love using these bobbins for my ribbon, for my twine, for my thread, for everything. Because it's just so much smaller. And I really need to save on space because I have so much stuff. So, I just went ahead and I put everything on these little bobbins. So, all what you're going to do is take your thread, feed it through the hole right there. And find about where they are even, which that's close enough. And then I cut this white one off at the knot. So there was a little knot. I just cut it off there. And then I separate them. And then I twisted them in between my fingers. Because I wanted them to, you know, kind of look like one piece. So just go ahead and twist them a little bit. And then it's going to come undone. That's fine. It didn't matter to me. So go ahead and just tie a knot. I'm like, of course, every time I try to do something on camera, it seems so much more difficult than what it really is. Get the other piece of thread through there we go and then just hold it at the end right there and then I push my knot upwards there we go now I kind of just pull it to make sure it's really tight and secure in there and then go ahead and trim your ends if you need to so then there we go. That's it. See how fast this was? I think it's so simple, so fast, but so, so cute. I really, really love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. And like I said, I'm going to link the other ladies down below. So go ahead and go check them out and give them a follow. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.